Mark, we'll start the interview by talking about the freak incidents. Obviously, Ethan Ross, Mitch Walker and Kev Locko. What's the latest on them? Yeah, obviously, uh, early prognosis probably isn't good. Like with the goalkeeper leaving on a on a spinal board in an ambulance is, is, isn't great. Um, obviously, Mitch has um, done something to his knee, which is again not a great thing. You know, he wouldn't have he wouldn't have come off unless that was serious. That is for sure. And I mean, his character. Um, and um, yeah, Kev Locko, unfortunately. Rolled his ankle in the first half as well. I missed, I missed all the chaos. Um, you know, we, we, you know, tried to get him through till half time, which which we managed to do. But um, you know, he wasn't able to continue. So um, yeah, not a, not not a great afternoon for us. And of course, reflecting back on the game, we started the game brightly, but as you say, the moment where Ethan's got injured and the goal's gone in, it sort of blew the game out of proportion, really. Yeah, it's a freak moment um, to lose lose your goalkeeper, to claim the ball, and it's the way he landed, it bounced out, and then and, you know, there's no one guarding the goal, and it's gone in. You know, uh, coming together of players in the melee, and you know that's that's what's happening at the moment. You know, things aren't going our way, um, but there's no feeling sorry for ourselves. There's, we only us can get ourselves out of this. Um, we know that. This game will kick you when you're down. It certainly is at the moment, and um, we've got to. We can't rely on anyone else. Only ourselves will get ourselves out of this. We can't feel sorry for ourselves. We've got to find confidence. No one's going to come and wave a magic wand for that. We've got to find a way. Um, and look, we've gone out and tried to attack the game the best we can today. We've created a lot. You know, our corner counts in double figures. We've had free kicks on the edge of the box. Uh, you know, long throws, we've had, you know, a lot of action in and around their goal. But again, that telling moment is still missing and we've got to find that. Someone's got to step up, someone's got to find that moment of quality for us. That's what we're looking for at the moment and that can that can change the mood so quickly. That can give you that magic bit of confidence, which this, all this group needs is at the moment. It's just that sprinkle of confidence, um, but we're going to have to fight for it, that is for sure. Of course, the team lineup may raise a few eyebrows from a few fans. Obviously, six defenders playing, but of course, Corey was pushed into midfield, and also Tommy played more centrally in the hope that he would go and drive forward and hopefully create an attack. Yeah, that, yeah, that, that's the case. Corey Jordan's probably got one of our best passing range. I feel that we've probably been lacking a little bit of quality with our exit passes. Corey could switch to play, put balls in behind, we can race and chase a little bit, and that's certainly the case. You know, we had throws, we had corners, we had we had action, um, and he could front screen. Um, Barnet and deal with their physical presence of what aerial balls going in our box as well. Some of their bigger players, um, um, but you know we definitely wanted to push our wing backs on. We wanted to make sure that we, you know, we had a, an attacking player in midfield. We had two up front, so we're trying to show it attacking intent. But we're also making sure that we're, we're solid and we're not going to lose a goal to a corner or a free kick. And you know we we have attacked the game the best we can. We've had, you know, like I said, lot, lots of action in around theirs, but we're still lacking that telling moment. We touched on the second goal. Obviously, it's just you know maybe a lack of concentration or whatever it was. But the ball's been looped over by Barnett into the back of the net. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's um, unfortunately we probably still had um, Giles a little bit dazed from the the situation, and Kevin obviously locked, you know, rolled his ankle. Um, so we just got caught. Um, you know, didn't quite get our didn't get quite get our shuffle on right enough, and the ball sort of bounced in between a couple of players. And um, like I said we were probably still a little bit trying to. Find our way after you know a, a, a big enforced change, a long a long period of the game stopping. But again, that's that, that's just an excuse. That's, that's that's football. Things things ain't quite going well for us at the moment, and um, you know changes were enforced. But um, like I said, we're still in control of what we want to do. Um, but we've got to start taking control now. Obviously, I'm not fishing for positives, but you know when Mo's gone in goal, obviously due to the injury and everything, and that last maybe 20 minutes spell, we did have bright moments, and there was opportunities for free kicks and shots on goal, and it was a little bit more positive for the rest of the game. Yeah, I think we started the game like that, and we uh, we ended the game like that. But it's you know that middle period, we've had some chaotic moments, um, which have cost us. Um, you know, anything will come across as an excuse in a moment. No one wants to hear excuses, so I won't offer any up. Um, but we've had to you know shuffle. The pack in and around, and um, you know it was it was chaotic out there at times today, and um, you know but we we have we have to find a way. Um, we you know we've got to turn some the, our attacks into you know we've got to find that in that end product, and um, that takes a bit of quality, that takes a bit of confidence, and it takes someone who wants to put their head above the parapet and say I'm your man, I'm going to go out and make this happen for you, and um, you know I feel, we we. We had that. I thought, you know, we looked bright with the substitutions that we did manage to make. Um, thought Tommy was bright all afternoon, and um, said we we've got to keep fighting, got to keep searching for that moment to change our fortunes.
We spoke to Kins in his post-match and he said, you know, you, Tom and all the coaching staff give them everything they need and it just maybe needs a bit of responsibility from the players now. But of course, it's not just down to the players, it's down to the responsibility of everyone from a first-team perspective. Yeah, yeah, look, it's always it's always going to be on us. When we lose, it's on me. Um, you know, but well, I won't, we'll never give up. I'll never stop believing in the players. I'll never stop working, analysing, giving them everything everything we can to succeed out there. And um, like I said, the other side of this is real growth for these players. The other side of this is um, you know they're going to be a lot stronger and better for it, but you know we we need to get to the other side as, as quick as we can because it's uh, it's traumatic for everyone involved at the moment. Of course, you know we are on a difficult run at the minute, but obviously once you break that chain of a poor run, you know everything could change like it did against Grimsby not too long ago. Yeah, absolutely. You know, like you know this has gone on too long. Um, you know, I'm the first to admit that, but. You know, we you break that chain and everything has a different feeling, um, and we can you know hopefully finish the season strong. But you know we've got to, we've got to ride out this real horrible spell that we're in at the moment, and um, you know and that's people have got to stand up and be counted at all times. We've got to know our roles and responsibilities, um, and we've got to, got to keep keep working hard. You know, we've got to keep finding solutions, uh, keep working to find solutions. You know, you know injuries and everything else. That's all part and parcel of the game. Yeah, we're getting hurt at the moment, um, but. This is a chance. There's always an opportunity for someone to rise in amongst them, in amongst the chaos, in amongst the the bad times. There's a chance to rise again, and uh, you know that's what we'll do. Of course, fans frustrations are of course naturally boiling over at the minute as well, and you know you'll be as frustrated as anyone. So, you know we want to give them something to cheer. We want to give them something to hopefully look forward to on a Saturday. Yeah, that's you know we, we have to. We know we need to, and we work hard every week week to do that. And. Um, you know, I understand there's going to be frustrations and there's going to be anger, um, but you know we can't we can't hide away from it. We can't rely on anyone else but ourselves to get ourselves out of this. Well, of course, we'll need them now as well during these difficult times to hopefully push us away from where we don't want to be. Yeah, without a shadow of a doubt, together we're we're stronger, and we're going to need them. But we're going to have to give them something to cheer about. And I, I know that I'm not I'm not I'm not stupid, but um, you know. All I can do is just show show the respect to the club and the fans by how hard we work during the week and keep giving the players everything we've got to try and to, to turn this round, which which we will. When we do come round, we're going to be stronger for it. And um, at the moment, I, I sympathise that this is a really tough time. No one feels this harder than than I do, uh, believe me. But it ain't the time to you know fall away. It's the time to stand up and be counted. And um, this is part and parcel of the game. If you want to survive in football, we chose football. If you want to survive in this game, you've got to be strong. And uh, you've got to be strong when no one else is cheering you. You've got to stand up and uh, and be counted. And, uh, you know, we know that we owe our fans and we know that we, um, you know, we need to win their support. We've got to win the crowd. And uh, at the moment, we're not, we're not helping ourselves at times. Um, it's not through lack of effort. Um, it's probably through lack of quality and lack of confidence at the moment. But... You know, we've got we've got to find that way of giving the players everything they got to make sure that they go out there and play with confidence. Um, you know, it's easier said than done sometimes, but we we will get there. Obviously, back at home next week, Bournemouth at home, another big game as every, all of them are at the minute. Yeah, yeah, every, the next game's always the biggest, um, and it's full, full attention to that to find a way to to win that game and kickstart our season again. Are you a movie shot? Look below for more information. Click here for the next video. Click here to subscribe.